Hello there, my beautiful Cancerian. Thank you so much for being here. I love you. Thank you for liking, sharing, and subscribing to the channel. Thank you, beautiful, for all the donations you send my way. Much appreciated. I'm so grateful. I feel much so welcome. And this is a general tarot card reading for the sign of Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus sign. So because this is a general reading, Cancer, all of the messages may not apply to all of you. So listen closely, breathe in with me here, and just take the messages that apply to you and will be able to help you along your journey, all right? So I'm sitting here shuffling and I'm thinking something is off or missing something. Someone is longing for something, maybe some loving or some affection or something with the emotions. Maybe to share yourself with someone, Cancer, possibly. We have the card, the two of swords vibration, which is, it's like a union with two souls, really, on the same path. It's also the card of intimacy. So the un upon shuffling the moon card pops out. The moon card the moon card is the vibration of Pisces. And I feel like examining this card today may take a lot of my focus or not. Let's see. Piscean vibration for this moon energy in what cancer is feeling. Maybe sadness or loss. Maybe someone is paying attention to uh, something blocking their way or a broken heart or something that they're missing or sad or depressed about. It can be a separation between someone that you were intimate with. It can be a soulmate vibration, but you are now separate, so it really tears at your heart. Maybe someone moves on, you know what I mean? And so maybe the King of Cups is Piscean energy. Maybe this is the Pisces that is feeling this way with the moon vibration. We're going through the full moon. The moon is beautiful in the heavens. Um, so we're going through this full moon. So I feel like emotions are coming up. These emotions feel like love, honestly. The emotions feel like longing to connect with a real, true soulmate. Like the, the, the most divine connection possible to imagine. And some people are going through a single life, I feel. Maybe I'm talking about myself. But um, but there's this sadness. So we're going to clarify the moon card. I want to, so if, as, I, as I was saying, it feels like the vibration of, um, like some deep-seated emotions just rising up, like gas, chemicals, maybe coming through your thoughts possibly maybe you're having thoughts maybe of another person a pisces or maybe a pisces is thinking of you but something happened and this gas is rising up this chem this this chemical inside of someone could be steam and it's almost like because you know people go through their their lunatic phase during the moon um the full moon right so there's this energy of something washing over this. Whoa, did you see that? Washing over this person. I caught, I got you, I caught you, I'm with you. I caught onto you. Is watching over this person, is, is arising, yeah. It's like an energy arising, like something you, a spell, like a spell coming up. And they're about to start. You saw the energy that the King of Cups was in. It's like he was in a trance. Is that energy of being awoken by the full moon as a wolf? I know when I'm doing tarot, my words go back and front, and they uh, they just don't fit. But um, please try to follow me. Let me gather myself and tell you what I'm telling you. It's almost like this person is under a spell, and when the moon rises, it triggers that this gas is released in this person's energy, and they may be thinking of you. Maybe dormant energy, memories that was laying here comes up alive once more. Two dogs, what do two? Hmm. Twinning. Something with the two vibration here. And it's been playing in your, it's an undertone that has been occurring in your vibration, Cancer, with two. I'm not sure if it's talking about your twin flame and it, that is the rising that's coming up for you. A feeling of really coming together with your twin flame whether you know it or not the energies is arising 
in both of you to it's like um a mating season you know what i mean it's like uh it's like this um this energy that is almost uncontrollable because it's like it's chemistry and it's a natural instinct all right let's continue hope i was making some sense what is the moon vibration tell me more about cancer's connection to this moon energy what is the moon energy what is this thing about the emotions what are the emotions who is experiencing these emotions Someone from your past, a past, an ex, Pisces. Oh. What? Like the judgment card. <laughs> Hold on. The judgment card was like, yeah, he better be your past. Is that energy of a sister defending you? Like, damn right, he's your past. That's what the judgment felt like when it came out. Like, hell yeah, that's my past. And never be nothing but all right then we have the lovers vibration oh no there's some union going on here and it could have something to do with your past person can say Ryan. now we're going to find out we saw pisces i wonder what this person is doing i'm wondering if this person is doing magic but i don't see the magician card but the strength vibration the strength card is also magic it's like the feminine essence of the magician card. Hmm. Someone could be doing magic. And it's like, I don't, maybe it's not bad magic. Oh, let's see. Let's see what this energy is. The magic that they're doing is, um, I'm telling you, there's something rising up. I'm getting chills. It's like, it's chills. This person may be doing, let me, so this lover boy or person that is your ex that we're like hell yeah that's your effing ex they were keeping secrets from you and trying to keep you in the dark they didn't want you to know the truth but judgment was like that's not gonna happen to my beautiful one so of course this lame one they got found out maybe they were looking at someone that's related to you earth sign cancer i mean what earth sign capricorn virgo taurus um I feel like you found out justice prevailed, right? The person lost you, I feel. There was a split. Okay. Now I feel like they they want you back. I don't know if this person, what they're doing. They're paying someone for something. They bought something. They bought, like, they bought a gift with the intention. I'm feeling the energy of someone going out buying a gift with the intention to give it to you the intention behind the gift is not just to make you happy or put a smile on your face they have a in they have an intention to get in your heart space it's it's like more serious than just a simple gesture it's it's a it's a it's it's a it's, a, it's an intention they're send there is an energy that they're giving into your space like when you accept this <clears throat> When you accept this gift, it feels like, I hear the word martyr. Why am I hearing martyr? When you accept this gift from this one, it's maybe money, but I do feel like they're buying something. Something red or ribbony. It is a tissue. A tissue. What is that word? Texture. The t you know the texture of the tissue paper that you stuff in the Christmas boxes or the ones that you spread around your house? The, a red one there's something about the texture of it oh what is this vibration man it's like the texture i can feel when they buy when they bought it and it's in their hand and they know exactly that they bought this red thing and they fit like the intention maybe they bought it red for that exact reason maybe this person knows magic i'm telling you this person is going to the water their magic is not evil us, but it may be devious <clears throat> because they, they're intending they're intending in what and they're intending in the gifts as well um so i feel like now that you know the veil is broken you know what i mean it, i don't feel like it will be the magic will be as powerful now that you know but if you just accept it like that 
it's almost like you're accepting something a seal with the red vibration the red ribbon um and it's not a red it's not the regular red ribbon that we use to tie our presents it's the tissue paper but it's cut like long and it's also very crumbled like crushed i don't know why someone would buy that maybe that's how it's sold um they bought it maybe off this off of a higgler on the roadside and they're in the, the minute they saw it they knew that this is what they want there's the feeling it's kind of devious it's the energy of this of a of a of a, of a serial kidnapper that sees the perfect rope on a on, on a side um and in a yard sale and he's like hmm, perfect this rope is perfect and he's feeling it so you know what i mean he has an intention for the gift the minute he saw this red ribbon thing he knew that this was what he was going to give to you it will work so i don't know i'm gonna look out for this red ribbon i mean it's strange sounding but it's the vision you know what i mean hey beautiful improve your health by adding sea moss to your water and look out for the extended of this reading coming up next upload all right see you there Sea moss heals the body by removing harmful chemicals that are caused by some foods we eat, hormones, toxic substances, and radiation from 5G from our devices. Heal your temple with the minerals of infinite oceans. Sea moss has over 90 of the 102 nutrients our body needs, like copper, which creates balance and harmony. To learn more about CMOS health benefits or to order your first premium grade CMOS, email italkitchenstyle at gmail.com.